What's up guys and welcome back to another Apex Legends video here. We're going to be looking at the settings that we're using, uh, optimal settings for visuals, gameplay, mouse, and audio. So let's get right into it. Um, so for video, what we run is full screen 16 by 10. So that's going to be a big difference from 16 by 9. Let's take a look. So with 16 by 10, the screen is slightly stretched. Um, what that means is you're getting less pixels on the screen. Um, your computer's having to do a little less work, so you get a little higher frames as well, and you get a slight stretch. So let's look at the character model width here of the Wraith. Let's look at the character model width here of the Dummy. Let's switch it to what the default is, 16 by 9 native. Um, you'll be able to see the characters are going to be slightly slimmer. That's noticeably slimmer on the Dummy. And uh, just staying still with the Wraith, that is, to me, noticeably slimmer on the Wraith, too. Um, so what you're going to do here is you're getting a slight stretch, not enough to really uh, make the game too bad looking, but enough to where you're getting a little more frames and you get a nice little stretch um, in the screen there. Character model is going to be a little bit bigger. Um, it's just going to make the game run smooth as well too. We fought, we've had a lot of luck with um, the 16 by 10 here and uh, I would recommend it. Let's move along. Uh, brightness, we just bump it up to 52. Field of view. Anywhere between probably 100 at the low, 110 at the high. It's all about user preference at that point. We've just been using 108 since the day one of the game, so that's what we stick with. Uh, sprint view shake. You're going to definitely want to put that on minimal. It just reduces the, the bob of the head when your character runs. Um, V-Sync, you're going to turn that off for most cases. Um, so just have that on disabled. Whatever you're doing is super loud behind me. <laughs> Anti-aliasing is, <laughs> is off. Um, this is going to be one of the most critical things. Anti-aliasing off provides um, very fine edges around objects and especially the character models, which will help you see characters at a far distance. So if we can look at this character model here, you can kind of see there's like almost a sheen to it, like a, and nice, nice sharp edges. Um, and also with the dummy, nice sharp edges, and uh, you can see things in the distance are very sharp. Um, Let's turn this, by, by default, anti-aliasing is on. Um, what that's going to do is it kind of blurs everything. Um, you can see the character now. It's kind of almost blurry to me. Um, and yeah, the, the edges aren't very sharp, uh, which is going to make things a little less um, noticeable in the distance. So if there's a character running 500 yards in the distance on a mountain, you might not see them because or it's going to be... Or in a building. In a building where, especially where there's shadows, you just wouldn't see any legend that had a brown um, outfit on. Yeah, so, so. now you, you lose the sharp edges, and you see you lose the sharp edges here, too. It's all kind of blurry. What this does, it's a, it's a mechanic of the game. It's trying to smooth everything out, make it appealing on the, on the eyes. But in doing so, it also um, makes things kind of blurry and less, um, less easy to see. So I would definitely run anti-aliasing off. Um, texture streaming budget and texture filtering, these things moving down. Basically, from here, it's going to depend on your computer um, for the most part. Unless you're just a super casual gamer, you're going to have these things pretty low because the lower they are, the higher frames you get. And um, and let's also talk about if you do have all these things on low, um, it's going to look it's going to look not that bad, but it's going to depend on your graphics card. So, for example, we're running a 2080 RTX. Um, when we have everything on super low, it is still pretty damn nice looking. Um, if you have a, like a super low end graphics card and you put everything on low, it's going to look worse. So just because you put it on low, um, not all uh, graphics cards are going to look the same on low. So if you have a pretty good graphics card and you put everything on low, it's still going to look pretty nice. Um, don't think that it's going to look like trash. Um, so, but what you're going to do on low graphics, you're going to get very high frames. Um, even when the crazy uh, Bangalore bombs are blowing up, things are going crazy, you're going to keep your high frames. And you're really going to want that, um, especially for competitive play. So um, from here down, we normally run uh, between three and four for the uh, texture streaming, texture filtering. Uh, three or four is fine. And uh, the rest is going to be on low. Now, if you're trying to just bump up a little bit, you could put model detail on medium, effects detail on medium, and it's going to make the game look a little better. You're going to lose some frames. Uh, you might have a little more shiny surfaces and whatnot, but if you're competitive, you just want to keep it on low. So that, that covers the video settings, and uh, those are going to be very critical for the game. Let's jump over to gameplay settings. For the gameplay settings, the most important things you're going to want to check out are... 
Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, the most important thing I think on this page, taking damage closes death box menu. You're going to want to put that off. And what that will allow you to do is stay inside of a death box so you can get that armor swap off or get the bullets or whatever you need, even if you're taking damage. Um, by default, that's turned on. And what that'll do is when you're in a box, it'll it'll put, it'll put force you out of the box. So, like, you're just about to click on the armor swap. It'll kick you out of the box. So you definitely want that to turn... That has saved our life many times by having it situated Definitely want to take... Taking damage closes death box menu off. Um, auto sprint, too. Some people like auto sprint. I know for controller, sometimes people, if you're beginning on controller, you like it. We're both mouse and key. Auto sprint, I think you should always have that off in any game because um, sprinting is loud. In this game, sometimes you want to walk, so don't have that on. Another thing you could consider uh, if you're just trying to get really fancy, colorblind mode. Uh, some of the pros, some of our friends, will put this on um, a different mode. You can play around with it. Um, by default, it's off. If you put it on one of these other modes, for example, the colors of things change. Um, the vibrance is a little turned up on some of the settings, so like the blue is like super vibrant blue. Um, so it can, it can affect the way... Um, all the textures look in the game, so you can play around with those. Um, that's not going to hurt anything. We just we just have it off for now. Let's jump over to mouse and keyboard. Mouse sensitivity is going to be one of the most critical things in the game. Uh, we're using 800 DPI for our mouse, and mouse sensitivity 1.5 is a good medium range. Um, you could you could turn that down. I know some people use as low as 400 DPI with 1.5. That's going to be yeah. like the low, low, low. Yeah, you you need a massive mouse pad. You, you're gonna be you're gonna be all over the place with the mouse pad. So and we're working with about two feet of mouse pad here. Yeah. So we do have ours. I think on the lower end, um, mid to lower end. I, I use one point six with eight hundred DPI. Um, a lot of people probably use higher than that. Honestly, eight hundred DPI. That probably the highest you're gonna want to go is two point. Five would be super high. That'd be very um, fast. Two point oh would probably be high. So eight hundred DPI, two point oh would be high. One point five we found is a really um, is a really nice uh, median there. Um, let's look down a bit here. Um, all these controls here are going to be very um, key bindings, very personal preference. Preferential. Since we started on Call of Duty, we use X to heal, and F is our pick up use item. A lot of people use E. We actually use E for grenades in this game. R to reload. Um, I don't use G for anything in this game. Okay, one thing you're going to want to consider is binding your um, maybe your syringes, med kits, shield cells, shield batteries, or phoenix kits to buttons. Um, I use a button on my mouse for shield battery. Um, shield battery is one of the most like critical things if you're getting shot and you're just barely sliding behind a corner and you need like 0.2 extra seconds. You're going to want to probably have heals bind so you don't have to go to the um, pinwheel menu and try to try to grab things in the heat of a battle. Um, so that'd be one thing to consider there, um, and that that covers it for that. Let's look at audio. I got one thing to look at for audio. Um, you're going to want to you could experiment with this. So if you're having trouble with footsteps in the game, one thing you can do is turn dialogue volume down. What's that? That's going to cut a lot of the chatter out. So um, all the voice commands, um, all the uh, when when your teammates ping something, when or Lifeline says that she's reloading her gun, things reloading. like that. Reloading. You don't need to know. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of chatter in the game. Um, if you turn dialogue volume off, it completely removes all the dialogue. The one of the biggest issues with that is you don't get the warning that there's a third party. So like if you're fighting a team and you're getting shot in the back from another team, it'll say, uh, "What does it say?" Uh, it's a new team. New watch team, out, new team. New team. Watch out, new team. Um, that's the that's the that's the big thing you're going to be missing there. I have dialogue volume off. I don't really miss that. I kind of know if I'm getting shot in the back by a new team or not. I would only turn dialogue volume off if you play with a pre-made squad or since we always play together. I keep mine on so I can hear that. But if, like you said, can, if you have issues with hearing footsteps, it's really nice to get rid of all those voice lines and chatter. It can help clear up the chatter. Um, so, yeah, that covers the, the settings for us. And, um, yeah, guys, any questions you have, we stream every single night. Uh, we're happy to talk about settings and... Um, you got anything for us? That is it. That is it. That is all, guys. We appreciate you very much, and we'll catch you on the next one.